services and simultaneously expose a gap in access to mental health care. Well, today, a new center is opening, making counseling more accessible for a segment of the population that's been really struggling, young adults. Ali Chiasson has more for, from the expansion of Stella's Place. About 15 years ago, I, as a family member, experienced severe anxiety with my daughter, Stella. It was very serious. It was life-threatening. I thought, surely I'm not the only one. And after our research, found out that we were, whoa, one in three of young adults suffering with severe depression, anxiety. And I said, all right, I'm on to something. That something was a gap in accessible health care for young adults. And Stella's place was established. <laughs> Today marks a new phase with a permanent space in an expansive new building downtown. We embrace our model that encourage young adults to come on their own terms without the pressure of professional referral or predetermined treatment care. And it couldn't come in a more urgent time. You know, we are in a mental health crisis in this province. Heightened anxiety and isolation throughout the pandemic has led to many people struggling. We're doing everything to try to increase the number of people working in the sector to be able to provide supports and services where and when they need them. Stella's Place gives access to support within days of seeking help, offering both group and individual counseling for people aged 16 to 29 years old. When I started programming, it didn't feel clinical. It didn't feel like I was going to the doctors or the therapists. Kat Romero was once a client of Stella's Place in its early years. She's now a volunteer who helped consult on its design so that Stella's Place would feel more like... When you've had a really hard day, you go to your best friend's house, they're waiting there with a cup of tea. The new hub downtown is a prototype for young adult-driven, age-specific, community-based mental health services in Canada. The peer-to-peer -peer support is on a completely different level. Like, you have your structured groups, you have your drop-in groups, but even just meeting other people who are in the same boat as you that understand what you're feeling, kind of how you're coping, it just makes a world of a difference. It's the kind of healing space they hope catches on across the country. Ali Chiasson, CBC News, Toronto.